हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अलंकार फार्मेसी क्लासेस अगेन इन टूडेज क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज थ्योरी ऑफ सेंट्रीफ्यूगेशन सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग अवर टाइम लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज सेंट्रीफ्यूगेशन सेंट्रीफ्यूगेशन इज वन ऑफ द सेपरेशन मैथड इन विच वी आर परफॉर्मिंग द सेपरेशन ऑफ आर्टिकल्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ साइज शेप डेंसिटी विस्कोसिटी ऑफ द मीडियम एंड द रोटर स्पीड विद द स्पीड विद द एड ऑफ सेंट्रीफ्यूगल फोर्स सो दिस इज द सिंपल डेफिनेशन ऑफ सेंट्रीफ्यूगेशन नो इन दिस केस द सेंट्रीफ्यूगल फोर्स इज यूज एज ए ड्राइविंग फोर्स फॉर द सेपरेशन ऑफ पार्टिकल्स एंड फॉर द इन दिस केस द सेंट्रीफ्यूगल फोर्स इज जस्ट रिप्लेसिंग ए ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द सेडिमेंटेशन ऑफ टू पार्टिकल्स Uh, this centrifugation is actually uh, used when the ordinary filtration methods are not applicable for the separation of particles assume any two particles we are having a different sizes but uh, have a, having a same densities and suspended in any liquid media they may not be uh, able to separate out by a simple filtration method in such kind of cases web centrifugation method is used now the particle size above 5 micrometer sediment at the bottom simply with the help of gravity but the particles having a size less than 5 micrometer they actually starts uh, undergo to brownian motion that do not sediment uh, because of the uh, simple gravity and that's why they require a centrifugal force to separate out properly so the if there is a small particles it's better to go for centrifugation rather than filtration now the centrifugal force causes the denser dense particles to move outwards in the radical direction whereas lighter particles move to the center assume any centrifuge which is in which the particles are moving in a circular path in this kind in this in this type of centrifuge what will happen the heavier particles will move outward in the radical direction whereas the lighter particles will come into the uh, approximately to the center uh, center point of the uh, liquid media so in this way the two uh, particles can be separated from each other now uh, let us uh, uh, discuss about some mathematical aspects of centrifugation also first of all there is a terminology that is centrifugal effect and this is one of the ve very important terminology in the centrifugation so what is centrifugal effect centrifugal effect uh, that, that is uh, here uh, shown by capital c the centrifugal effect is equals to the force acting on radical di radial direction that is f divide by the gravitational force that is capital g the force acting on the radial direction that is f and the force of the uh, force uh, gravitational force that is acting on the particle that is g uh, since the both kind of forces uh, uh, both kind of forces will be applicable for any particle which is moving in a, in this way in a circular path now this centrifugal uh, effect may be is value it may be up to 10 to the power 4 uh, and better the centri higher the centrifugal effect simply means the better is the efficiency of the centrifuge that means we can separate out those particles also which are which is having a very small size or densities so better the uh, centrifugal effect simply means better is the centrifuge and better will be the separation uh, we are having a ultra centrifuge uh, uh, nowadays and this centrifuge uh, today centrifuge is operating at the very high centrifugal effect as compared to the normal centrifuges that are available in at the laboratory scale now the value of f that is force acting on radial direction is equals to the mv square divided by r and the g is uh, already known to us that is g, uh, m into g where this m is the mass of the object v is the velocity where the velocity of the particle r is the radius of the circular path of the particle and the g is the acceleration due to 
gravity if we put the value of this f and g in the in this uh, uh, as a nu numerator and a denominator and also if we put the value of the velocity that is equals to the 2 pi r n where n is the number of rotation per second if we put this all together we will get the centrifugal effect value equals to 2 pi square multiplied by d multiplied by n square divided by g where g is the g the value of g is known to us that is 9.807 meter per second square and the value of pi is also known to us that is 22 by 7 or 3.14 so if we put these values also we can get the final equation that is centrifugal effect is equals to 2.013 multiplied by n square multiplied by d so this equation shows that the centrifugal effect is directly proportional to the diameter of the centrifuge or diameter of the circular path of the particle and also it, uh, it is directly proportional to the square of the speed of rotation. This simply uh, shows that the, the effect of speed of rotation is more as compared to the effect of the diameter or the circular diameter of the circular path of any particle. So uh, to increase the centrifugal effect or simply uh, if we increase the centrifugal effect that, that means the uh, efficiency of the centrifuge will be increased. So if we want to increase the centrifugal effect it is uh, first of all what, what, what are the things that, can, that we can do? First of all we can use the same size centrifuge at the higher speed. So for this is the first thing that we can do. We can use the same same centrifuge, but it but operated at the very high speed. Now another thing uh, that we should use the small centrifuge at the appropriate speed. If our batch size is small enough, then it's better to go to the uh, go with the small centrifuge and uh, operate at the appropriate speed uh, rather than uh, using a large centrifuge and uh, at the less speed. Now another thing, if if uh, if the particles of uh, uh, that we uh, require that is uh, is having a uh, much bigger size and uh, uh, we can go at, uh, for the less speed also, then it's better to use a large centrifuge at the less speed. Now last thing is uh, uh, this is actually because the centrifuge machines uh, uh, there are uh, uh, chances of wearing and tearing. So that's why it's uh, in uh, if the if our batch size is uh, uh, is huge, our batch size is large, and the less speed uh, less, uh, less speed is enough for the separation of particles. So in that case, we can it's better to use the bigger centrifuge compared to small centrifuge. Now last thing that we can also uh, use uh, we can also use that is a small particles if we are having a small particles that we can uh, we can use the small centrifuge for the uh, smaller diameter and uh, operated at the higher speeds. So this is all with the theory of centrifugation we have uh, first of all started with the definition then we have compared the centrifugation with filtration where centrifugation is used and where the filtration is used and uh, uh, some mathematical terms that is centrifugal effects and uh, and its uh, equations and all and lastly we uh, we have discussed to increase the centrifugal effect so uh, this is all with theory of centrifugation hope you all have liked my video so please do share with those col uh, your colleagues who are who are in the search of you thank you friends